Hi, my name is Dave. I'm with Mountain View Aviation. And today we're going to be doing an installation of the door steward kit on an early Cessna 172. So the first thing we want to do is take our airframe bracket for the left hand side. There's a left and a right hand bracket. And we want to fit it to the door sill. Now the, we need to set it here as high up in this arc as we can get it. Um, and still try and space it between existing rivets. If the location you choose happens to be right over a rivet, it'll be okay to drill that out because we're going to add some more rivets in here to, to replace whatever comes out. But a lot of times it'll fit between a couple of rivets here. The other thing that we've got to check for is the angle. This angle is, not, uh, is more than 90 degrees, where this is bent at 90 degrees. So we're going to have to open our angle up just a little bit so it sets nice and flat here and nice and flat here. So we're in the shop here now with a vise with some aluminum jaw so we can protect our bracket without scoring it up. And we've got to open this angle up a little bit because it doesn't fit quite flat on both surfaces. So we're just going to drop it in the vise, clamp it down, and you can take your hand and actually lift up a little bit. And that's all it took was just a little bit. We're going to go try it again on the airframe and see how we did. If we need to, we can come back and open it up a little bit more. Okay, we've bent the angle just a little bit on this bracket so it fits a little better on here. And it looks pretty close. I think we might want to tweak it just a little bit more so we're nice and flat here and nice and flat here. Okay, we've uh, tweaked our bracket just a little bit more and it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way it fits between the two surfaces now. So I'm spaced between a couple rivets here so I don't have to worry about taking out a rivet. We're up here about as high as we can go. So we're ready to go ahead and use the bracket as a template and drill our attach holes. So get this squared up. Get our first hole and we'll get a Clico in there. Okay, we'll get another one here on this surface. Get a couple out here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish up all the holes now. Okay, we've got all the holes drilled. We're going to get this pulled off and we'll deburr the holes in the structure here before we put the rivets in. When you, uh, when you drill through the sheet metal like that, a uh, square hole is kind of sharp on the edges, so you want to make sure you do deburring around the holes. It's just kind of common sheet metal practice here. Okay, we're ready to rivet our bracket on. Let's go ahead and reattach it with the Clecos. Okay, we're ready to attach the airframe bracket with the Cherry Max rivets that are supplied with the kit. And you'll notice that the, there's two sizes. There's a dash three and a dash two. The dash three is a little bit longer. That's gonna go in the airframe bracket because the airframe bracket is slightly thicker than the door bracket. We'll use the dash twos on the door bracket. So let's get the first one in there. We're just using a hand puller for these, but you can also use a, a cherry pneumatic tool if you have that available. And we'll just go around here and we'll get uh, all 11 rivets pulled in here. And we'll have a nice secure bracket. Okay, there we go, we've got the bracket all securely attached to the door sill area now. Next step, we'll go and install our door bracket. The first step here is to get the interior panel up so we can attach the door bracket. 
Um, this is an early Cessna. Most of the Cessnas, unless it's been replaced, is going to be attached with little spring catches on the back of the interior panel, and those will just pop out of the holes. If you've had a replacement interior panel, it could very well be screwed to the door. You have to pull some screws out. You don't have to take the interior panel all the way off. You just need to loosen it up so you can get access to the bottom of the door here. We're going to take a little twine and tie this up so it's out of the way, and then we'll get set up to put our door uh, bracket on here. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to decide on is which door bracket to use. There's two door brackets with the kit. You've got the standard door bracket that we'll use here that fits right at the bottom of the interior and the ball stud is riveted on. If you have um, real thick interior or it comes all the way down the bottom and you've got to put your bracket here and let it extrude through your interior panel, you may want to use this one that's a quarter inch longer and then you would just bolt the ball stud onto that after you get it installed. Usually the 210s and some of the newer Cessnas, the interior panel comes all the way down here and you'll end up using this bracket. But with this early Cessna, we're going to use this bracket right here. So let's go ahead and get the gas spring attached to the airframe side. Then we're going to temporarily attach it to the door bracket. So we're going to attach this somewhere in this area. We've got to find out where we're at on the strut. Okay, we want to make sure we've got a gap here because you don't want your door come up and hitting the strut here because uh, the struts uh, are real limited on how much damage you can have to the struts. So make sure you've got a gap in there and then you can decide where to put this door bracket at. Okay, we've decided where we're going to put the door bracket. We're going to go ahead. <laughs> Get our first hole put and get a Clico in there. Double check, I've got the gap I want back here. Looks good. We're going to go ahead and drill another hole. And get a Clico in that one. Now we've got the bracket uh, secured here, we can go ahead and get the gas spring off here so we can get the other holes drilled. Another little tip on drilling holes in this door like this and the airframe, uh, you obviously don't want to drill all the way through and have it come out the other side of the door. So it's important to put a drill stop on your drills and that'll keep you from going too far in. Okay, we've got all the holes drilled, pull the bracket back off and deburr the metal underneath like we did for the airframe bracket. Okay, we've got those holes deburred and you might want to note right here we've got a hole for our interior panel and we're going to take the spring clip that's associated with that hole and we're just going to remove it because you won't need that spring clip there with the door bracket once it gets riveted on. So we're ready to go ahead and clico this back in place and get our dash two rivets and rivet this door bracket in place. Sometimes as you go through this installation you end up having to uh, take your drill and just run through the hole just to clean it out because they'll get misaligned just slightly as you're riveting along. And there we have the door bracket, final installation. Now we've got to take and trim out that one spring clip that went to this hole right here, and then we can reattach the uh, door panel. Okay, we've got our door panel securely reattached back to the door, and you can see why we didn't need that spring clip there, is because the ball stud here is going to keep that panel from not going anywhere. So we're going to put the gas spring on, and the gas spring has these little safety clips that engage in the end fitting as a secondary locking device. So we're going to put it on this side first, put the safety clip in, and then put this side and put the safety clip in there. Safety clip engaged there. 
Okay, we're going to put the safety clip in this side here. It's just a small little hole that's drilled parallel to the gas spring. And it's just a locking device. There is a spring clip inside the spring to hold it on, but these are just backup devices so it doesn't accidentally get kicked off. It just wraps around there and it's securely in place. So to review, we got our airframe bracket on first, got that securely mounted, took the gas spring in the unmounted door bracket and put it in position, make sure we had a gap on the strut, got that riveted on, put our door panel back on, gas springs on the, for permanently with the safety clips, and we're all finished now. This is an early Cessna, and the early Cessnas had this little door stop to hold the door open on the bottom of the wing. Now that we've got the door steward on, this can easily be removed and get it out of your way so you don't hit your forehead on it. If you have a later Cessna, you're going to have your door stops are internal to the door, and you can either disconnect them or you can leave them hooked up as long as they don't interfere with the operation of the gas spring. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this door and show you how it works now with that gas spring on there. And you can see it opens. It's got a nice slow opening speed on it. It comes to the full open position. I hope you enjoyed watching us install this. It's really quite easy. Typically, 40, 45 minutes per door, you can get this installation done. If you need any other information, just contact us at mountainviewaviation.com. Thanks.